So here's the tertiary structure. How this thing turns like this helix or a V-plated sheet is going to curve into itself. Why? I'm, there's five things that make it uh, curve. Disulfide bonds, van der Waals forces, electrostatic attraction, acids and bases uh, interaction, as well as um, cytosine, how the different cytosines might interact with each other. So you have to look at those things when you look at the tertiary structure. And quaternary is just basically how two different um, proteins combine with another protein. Know that quaternary structures can be destroyed with um, its uh, denaturing agents. They can affect the disulfide, hydrophobic forces, electrostatic forces, and those kind of things. So for example, maybe um, ions or salt might affect the electrostatic forces. Perhaps urea is going to affect the maybe um, hmm, disulfide forces. Not really sure on that, uh, actually. Just, you just have to know that things can denature it. And sometimes when it, when it uh, breaks apart these quaternary structures, like these, again, this one here is a combination of many peptides, tertiary peptides making a quaternary peptide, it can refold back to its original shape. Other than that, it's pretty simple.